Mike Clifford here, and today I'm going to show you how I created a Rings of Saturn LED pendant light. Each ring is made of multiple plywood rings that are stacked and glued together. Then a flexible LED channel uh, was used uh, with LED strips to create the light. I also used an Arduino to program the light so that you could have a solid ambient light and various shades of white as well as a music syncing mode and a general pattern. You can greatly simplify this build by just using off-the-shelf LED controllers instead of an Arduino. If you're interested in learning about the electronics and Arduino code, just leave me a comment. If I get enough interest, I'll make a separate build for that. I used a circle router jig, which you can buy for 30 bucks or just make one yourself uh, to cut out the rings. Uh, so you can see there I cut uh, two half inch uh, walnut plywood uh, sheets. I stacked them so I cut both of the walnut outer rings at once. Then I cut the rim inner ring from uh, some scrap plywood that I had around. Uh, then I moved on to the larger ring. The cutting order for each stack of rings is important. First, you're going to want to cut the outer radius of the top and bottom rings that are formed from walnut. Second, you're going to want to cut the outer radius of the middle layer from plywood uh, at half inch less, uh, half inch less radius than the top and bottom layers. Then you're going to want to cut the inner radius of all three rings at the same time, which ensures that they are aligned uh, and that you can put veneer on them. After cutting out all the rings, I applied edge banding to the outer radius of the walnut rings. Uh, I found it a bit tricky on the curved surface and so I didn't use an iron. Instead I used a uh, heat hot air gun, a heat gun, uh, and a uh, J-roller uh, to apply pressure. I found that works better than an iron. And then I used an edge trimmer to go around the edges and trim it even uh, with a half inch plywood. And then I went uh, to do the glue up. Now is probably a good time to mention uh, something you might have noticed here that the top ring here is in two halves. I used two two foot by four foot uh, plywood panels uh, to make the outer ring uh, because uh, they were just easier to get a hold of. After removing the clamps, I went to sand the uh, interior surfaces. Uh, despite trying to get the radius perfect, it was not quite level. So uh, with the larger ring, I had to use the belt sander uh, and an orbital sander with uh, a little bit of hand sanding worked fine uh, before I could apply the veneer to the uh, inner radius. I used two inch uh, walnut veneer here. Uh, and again, just use the heat gun and uh, the J-roller to apply it since uh, the iron just really didn't work, uh, especially on the inner radius, it didn't work at all. Uh, I had a few few minutes of frustration before I just gave up and used the ultimate technique. And then again, just used the edge banding trimmer to trim it up. Uh, then gave everything a sanding and there were unfortunately a few nicks, tears, and so on in the edge banding. Uh, I realized I really just don't like edge banding. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, a, it's an art that I have not learned. Uh, so I had to go back with some walnut wood putty and fill in imperfections uh, and uh, then sand it down again until it looked nice. Uh, once it was done, I went with a coat of Danish oil uh, and gave it a nice looking finish. Then I repeated the glue up, veneering, sanding and finishing steps with the smaller ring. While you're watching that process, I think it's worth taking a second to talk a bit more about the design that really made this project pretty simple to do, just cutting rings. The flexible LED channel that I purchased was a hair under three quarters of an inch wide and about a half inch deep. This meant that by cutting the middle ring of the stack to be a half inch less in the outer radius and using three quarters inch plywood, when you stacked it, you create a perfect channel for that uh, LED channel just inserted into without actually cutting anything so you don't have to make a curved channel cut uh, which really simplified this process. Mm -hmm. 
After finishing both rings, I took it upstairs and drilled a chimney-like hole from the side and bottom for the LED power and signal wires to go through. Uh, I made sure to make the, the hole in the upper part so you wouldn't notice it when it's hanging from the ceiling. Uh, then I used the uh, adhesive backing on the LED strips that I purchased to uh, put them into the channel against the wood. You'll notice here there are imperfections in the edge banding, uh, but you really don't notice them when the lights hung on the ceiling. Well, next I, I went and I actually cut the back out of the flexible LED channel that I would purchased. Uh, this allowed for the lights to actually attach to the wood, which was easier. Uh, and it uh, created a little bit more space between the lights and the diffuser, which made for a more diffuse light instead of uh, seeing the dots of the LED so much. I went back after that and I used some CA glue to uh, adhere the LED strip a bit better and then used some CA glue to uh, adhere the flexible LED channels over the uh, LED strip uh, and then the ring was basically done. Next I went back and I repeated this process for the larger ring of the two. After finishing both rings, it was time to attach the hardware. This was a little tricky because you needed to get the four hangers in exactly uh, quadrisecting the cir circle uh, so that uh, you could balance it however you want. Uh, so to do that, I, I first uh, drew an inner circle. I then threw, drew three cords uh, intersecting it and found their centers. Uh, and their intersection then gave me the middle of the circle. From there, I could draw perpendicular lines through the middle, which gave me a quadrisection that I could use as a guide to drill the holes and attach the hardware. I think this part would make my ninth grade geometry feature very proud. <laughs> Next, I repeated all this to install the hardware on the larger of the two rings. And with that, it was time to hang up the light. I'm not showing the hanging process because this will vary depending on your ceiling. I just used the cutout from the small ring, attached it to a beam, and hung it from there. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs>